Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jane, and welcome to another replay cast. Today we are looking at the game in the Leopard 1. It is kind of weird to call this this video going ham, because in Leopard there's no real thing as going ham. I mean, it can happen every once in a while, but this tank does not like to be face-to-face, -face, close range, or really being shot at to begin with, so you usually your going ham is just playing support and hoping to get into a team with where you can support. Also notice the bad play on tunneling on the light tank and letting two tier 10 mediums cross and then a poor shot to follow that up, so pretty poor start for me. This spot is one of my favorite to take on this map pretty much every time I play this, almost in every tank I play. Because usually you get some free damage here at least, and usually you get more than some, you usually can rack up 1 to 2k free damage from this squad quite easily, especially if you're fast and you have good view range that uh, will uh, uh, contribute to this a lot as well. Also, really important, uh, really good spot when there's Arty in the game, and uh, because you don't get spotted all the time like you would if you sit in the middle, and uh, also you can retreat or relocate to whatever flank you want still quite effectively. So a pretty solid uh, early uh, game position here. So far in this game I've been tunneling though pretty badly and uh, missing out on shots that I should have had and shooting people that I really don't have a lot of hopes of penning the first actual decent shot that I led properly here. Uh, but I do get spotted for that and uh, I need to be a bit more cautious as uh, enemies might be uh, trying to focus me down the next time I get spotted, our E50M got completely fucked there, he's dead already. Get spotted again this time by the IS-7, that's pretty much the uh, notification that I need to leave this position because I cannot hold down fight either an IS-7 or either one of the 140s, not even talking about all three of them at the same time, so it's time to go. In the Leopard it's extremely important to, to not face uh, your enemies in close range, especially when they have any turret armor, you're, you're most of the time gonna lose out on that fight and if you don't lose out, you're, if you're lucky, you're gonna get a, a e even trades, but that's if you're really lucky and um, at the start of the game you don't really wanna even trade or hope to get lucky against tanks like IS-7, it's just not gonna go your way at all. This is a really poor shot and not really sure what I was thinking there. But now the play, uh, the plan for the game has shifted quite uh, radically. We can't uh, sustain any presence on one, two, and three line because those I seven and one forties are just gonna kill everything there. Our best bet probably to uh, is to clear out the city, clear out that flank, and then go around and shoot them uh, from the A line, which I could do in a second. First off, I want kind of want to shoot the RD though. Well, we admire this Jagdpanzer passing by. The equipment you, I use on the Leopard 1 is uh, bird stabs, uh, coated optics and rammer, uh, complete standard medium tank equipment, nothing really to say about that. Did miss the uh, RD twice there, unfortunately, as well. And now what I was saying I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the A-line, uh, get some shots into the sides of all those tanks, and it is really hard to counter, it's really hard to spot me, and as long as my team uh, remains somewhat alive there, it shouldn't be a big problem for me to do damage here. And now one thing, uh, after the AMX-30B got introduced in the game, a lot of people were like, AMX-30B is just about Leopard, but after I played the Leopard and the AMX-30B, uh, the 30B is capable of pulling shots way quicker, the aiming time on that feels way better, and uh, it just feels way better to play, it has the awkward cupola and it is slightly slower, but the gun on the 30B, in my opinion, is much better than the gun on the Leopard, even with the uh, the slightly lower DPM and in, with the fact that you have the Coppola and all that, I still kind of prefer to play the MX-30B over the Leopard these days, which is kind of weird. That being said though, the Leopard's gun is as um, reliable as you can uh, really get in this game as long as you fully aim. Fully aiming at moving targets can be a pain in the ass, especially with that pattern being hauled down. I'm trying to get this hull, not really connecting, also the uh, server reticle and the replay might look a bit weird, but it kind of kind of represents the direction I'm aiming. Get to track the pattern, but he still stays alive, and he stays alive even after that. I know he can, I cannot hit him, and I missed the Object 140 fully aimed again, or as well, whatever. He gets uh, shot by the E100, and I do get the sneaky kill, and just before the E100 goes in front of my aim there, but pretty much doing what the Leopard should be doing, relocating around the enemy team and doing damage from distance. I'm not really doing great so far, missing a lot of shots, bouncing a lot of shots, but um, we are making some progress at least and 
that I saw and wasn't really the kind of target I really wanted to shoot at. I did shoot the E4 and I probably penned him as well. No, actually I did not. Oh well. Uh, I did have any shot on the E50. I don't know why I didn't take it, but since I get a kill on the pattern, I guess it was kind of worth it. And uh, the E50 now shows his side to me, which I will gladly take and pen. Really about picking your targets here. I will, was trying to get a kill on 1390, but I didn't really get to aim that in time. And in this game, I missed plenty of shots without aiming already. Anyways, now fully aim on the side of the E50 uh, turret and hit the track. It was enough for the E100 to kill him, so whatever. And now, like, a really shitty shot on the enemy E100 there. You can see his, uh, like, barely see his hull sticking out there. But it, this one should be good enough. This gun should not should really be able to hit shots like that. Now, I have 7 on 900 health. Uh, not the greatest angle ever, but uh, he dies. And uh, I'm pretty sure that was one to me and the uh, I mean, uh, other I 7 in our team. When we both uh, shot and penned the I 7. So that's some more damage that we didn't see. Uh, but yeah, now the game looks slightly better for our team. It's still 11-11, but uh, we kind of do have the advantage of the, the two tanks being on the E line or F line. They're quite close together. They can support each other well. And then there's me who is flanking, and it should be good enough uh, to be able to win this uh, quite handily. Now the problem could be here if I get spotted by the object 140, I could lose a lot of health. Now I do have a lot, but if, if we count up, uh, like if I uh, E4. 263 and the 140 shots it shoots me I'm almost dead so I'm still like not 100% in it uh, here not 100% yellow because it could still cost us the game I don't really want that so I'm gonna play it uh, as I have played it before just play passive uh, do get to spot the 263 and shoot him without him spotting me it was really unlikely that his viewports would have been at the back of his tank and now I think I got the double bush uh, in this shot as well so uh, don't get spotted and do do, uh, do shoot him twice, which is quite a good result for us, and it puts him into a one-shot range. And now, if we can get rid of this E4, this game is over. There's nothing they can really do about it anymore if this guy dies, because his gun is the only one that is really scary. Uh, the 263 is scary, but he's in a one-shot zone, so it's not really that much of a threat. I could have sh uh, shot the E4 better there. That was a poor shot, but... Uh, since he's completely in the middle of the open, it shouldn't be the hardest shots to take. Now he gets these spotted, but uh, I'm just gonna shoot blind and guess there's not really a lot of places he could have gone there. If he drove backwards, I probably would have spotted him again. And now it's clear that we are like in solid driver's seat in this game. There's nothing really they can do about this. Uh, if I go and kill the 263, the only two tanks they have uh, will not be able to uh, win this game in a million years. So, uh, just going for the 263 now. So pretty textbook stuff for Leopard. Uh, the game started with me doing some spotting. I'm not really sure if I actually spotted anybody because I did have the 3090 next to me. Trying to get some free damage at the start. Uh, then relocating when I realized that the situation, the situation is going to get shitty. And uh, after that uh, we just got this uh, ridiculous length that we just literally did target practice for the rest of the game. and. Uh, did rack up some damage, uh, quite a bit of blind damage I imagine as well, and there's still uh, two tanks left to chase, so could have shot better in this game for sure, I missed a lot of shots, but then again, that's what I said, the Leopard's gun, it just doesn't feel very responsive after you play the 30B, 30B's gun uh, uh, just feels like it can actually like snapshot without fully aiming way more than this tank can. Now, looking for the 1390, either ran to the left, but I cannot really be sure, so I'm going to check K1 area as well, maybe he's trying to hide there, so I want to flash him out before he gets away. And there he is, uh, not really the greatest shot ever here, it just adds to the tally of bad shots in this game. He uh, won't be able to shoot me too many times as uh, the tank doesn't have a lot of gun depression and uh, he was kind of out of position as well. To we pick up the 7th kill of the game and now for the 140, we'll have to go to the other side of the map. Leopard is a really good uh, tank for cleanups as well, just because of the speed. Doesn't have an auto loader, but uh, still you can do quite a lot of damage late game as well. So it's quite important to stay alive. It's quite important just to not get shot in early game, I guess. This game is kind of like the typical Unicum Jerk game where you don't really do any dirty work and uh, just farm damage pretty much. But I tried to spot where I could and after I flanked there was no real point for me to fly, uh, spot because all the enemies were lit up anyways. And I just pretty much farm damage. It's kind of 
uh, the perfect game for the Leopard 1, but it, you don't really want to be teammate of mine in this game because, as I said, I didn't really bother to do any dirty work. Now looking for this 140 and there he is. It shouldn't be too hard to do damage to this guy. Uh, uh, spell here with an auto-aim, just because, you know, reasons. But yeah, that's pretty much the game. I did do a bit more damage than shown on the damage panel because of uh, quite a bit of blind shots, but uh, we'll see that in the end plates. So here's the end plate, uh, Top Gun, High Caliber, Confederate, Ace Tanker, 1894 experience with the premium account. Uh, it's quite a weird combination of medals to get all of the same game, but uh, I did have a, quite a bit of shooting range in front of me for more than half of the game. So in total we did 7,282 damage, 7 kills and 1,263 base experience. Base experience wasn't that high, it's probably barely an ace just because of... Uh, the distance we were that was between me and my enemies and I was not the one spotting for myself but uh, pretty poor accuracy in the end 38 shots fired 27 hits and only 22 penetration so pretty damn low uh, penetration rate there but uh, as I said like I really don't like this gun after playing the AMX 3rd DB but it still does the job all right if you do get into the right positions I hope you guys enjoyed this review play and I'll see you in the next one